So today I'm checking out my antenna propagation with a little device that uh, Soda Beam sent me called the Whisper Light. Whisper or Weak Signal Propagation Reporting is a, uh, is a tool to let you know how your antenna is actually performing with very, very little power under weak signal conditions. Now Whisper can be used at home with uh, free software and no, uh, no special setup and it works under Mac or Windows. You can get on the WhisperNet uh, website and you can see where your antenna is propagating and who you're hearing with your antenna. Now, unlike other digital modes, Whisper is not for having QSOs. All it does is uh, send out your call sign and your grid square. With the WSJTX uh, software, Anybody can become a uh, whisper reporting station and you can run that thing pretty much automatically all day long if you want to. And I found it got a little bit addictive. Here's the problem. When you're operating portable, uh, unless you want to take your computer and USB and everything with you, you can't report whisper and you can't uh, see where your antenna is propagating. Enter the uh, whisper light by soda beams this thing automatically sets it out sets out your signal um, to whisper and you could do this with just a small amount of power just add power plug in your antenna you don't even need your radio on to figure out if it's working whisper light will automatically send out your call sign and your grid to the uh, WhisperNet network and listening stations around the world can hear this um, automatically. It uses just 200 milliwatts of power. And it's amazing where my antenna got out with just 200 milliwatts. Now you can see here when it's transmitting, uh, my uh, D74 is picking up the signal. Now the hardware is just part of this. A big part of this whole thing is the dexplorer.net uh, website. And uh, it gives you a ton of tools to see exactly who's hearing you, where it's going. Uh, it gives you uh, graphs. It'll give you uh, maps of where your station is being heard. And uh, as I can see here on 40 meters with my 80 meter inverted V, I was being heard by several stations along the west coast. Now one of the coolest features is the comparison. And uh, here I found our section manager here, uh, Carol, who's operating on Whisper. So let's just do a quick comparison to see how I'm doing uh, in relationship to her. Now, uh, you could see that she is in red and I am in blue. And when we zoom in on this, if I can get this thing zoomed in here, um, we could see that Carol is actually getting out much, much better uh, than I am with her antenna. But then again, she's much, much smarter than me. Hovering over a reporting station gives you a, a ton of information like your signal strength to them and it identifies that station. So all in all, a really, really cool feature of the uh, DXplorer software. Now, like I said before, there's free software out there by uh, WS JT that uh, lets you be a reporting station and you can also uh, send your signal out from your computer and your radio. So now my results on 20 meters with a hex beam uh, were pretty, pretty good. I got out to, I was heard in Japan, Australia, and then later down in South America and up in Canada. 
my 40 meter results with a homebrew wire antenna got me out into the Midwest and uh, and some places along the West that are not a big surprise. Now using the uh, WSJT software and my K3S, I was able to use my station as a listening station and reporting all day yesterday and I was amazed at where I was hearing. So what do the judges think about this little guy? All right, first, the good. This thing is small and light, perfect for taking with you on your next de-expedition, soda expedition, or like me, on a dive trip. It's fully self-contained. I mean, that means that it comes with an adapter, it comes with a USB plug. And all you need to do is add power. And I've got plenty of little battery packs and stuff to power iPhones and, and other stuff. That works perfect. Once you configure this thing, it frees up a computer. You don't need a computer to work on this like you do normally when you're working Whisper from the house. It also frees up my radio. So I don't even need a radio on and operating when I'm doing this. Out of the box here, it works a wide variety of bands, including 160 through 20 meters. Uh, and if you need to work more bands, you can add a low pass filter and get to those uh, get to those other bands, uh, 17 through, I don't know, probably six meters. The D Explorer website works really, really well under a, uh, an iOS or an Android environment. It was real simple to take the, uh, to take the premium version that you can hook up to when you're uh, on here copy the URL and paste it into your favorite browser uh, into the bookmarks and then call that up on this and voila, I'm in the premium version now. So that was very, very cool. This works really well on the, uh, on the mobile version. I can, uh, I can pull up tables, I can pull up maps, I can do a lot of stuff right here mobile and all i need is an internet connection uh, to my mobile device now on the other side this is a windows only device so if you're like me and you're a mac user we're kind of sol and that sucks um, firing up windows on a mac computer is uh pretty much a pain in the ass. We have Macs because we like the Mac environment, not the Windows environment. And having to go back to a Windows environment really, really sucks. The Whisper Lite is uh, dependent on a computer running Windows to, uh, to reconfigure it for another band. So really, when I travel, I'm going to configure this thing before I leave and I'm locked into that band. So you better, you better be in love with the band you think you're going to be working when you're going somewhere. Or on the other hand, you'll have to bring a Windows computer with you to change the thing out. In here, you could see uh, this is open on both sides of this. and. This uh, housing is not weather sealed in any, by any stretch of the imagination. So when I'm operating in a uh, hot and sweaty environment with a lot, of, uh, a lot of humidity, I am wondering if this thing is going to handle it or if it's gonna crap out on me in, uh, in a matter of hours or days. Now let's get to the price. Uh, this thing is about 75 bucks. So it's not 
exactly a cheap, uh, a cheap thing to pick up. But on that other hand, on 200 milliwatts here with my antenna at home on my hex beam, I, I, I was actually heard in Japan and Australia. Now that, my friends, I don't care how much you spend on a, uh, on a transceiver or a transmitter, that is cool. And so 200 milliwatts, I proved that I can hit pretty much halfway around the world. Would I buy one? If I am, if I'm doing a lot of uh, remote operations, if I'm going on D expeditions, if I'm traveling, uh, if I'm traveling with my ham radio gear on a real constant basis, and if I'm operating in less than optimal conditions and it's real, real important to me to have the best antenna directionality and to be able to get out the best and be able to test my equipment in a real world environment, yeah, this is worth it. If you're the casual uh, operator, if you've got your antenna up and it doesn't matter where it is and you've got access to a computer, I think you're better off using free software and using the, uh, using the whisper net to, uh, to see where everything's going, especially if you're just operating at home. Another couple of things that I, uh, I wanted to update you on. Number one is the new release of MacLogger DX for you uh, Mac guys out there. This release, I think, is one of the biggest improvements that Don Agro has done in a long, long time. The new release, 6.08, is, uh, has got the addition of live LOTW, ESQL, and uh, QRZ uploads and confirmations. Guys, this is huge so if you haven't tried mac logger yet that is definitely something you want to give a shot at another uh, another thing that people have been asking me about all you uh, k3 guys with your p3s that have been asking me uh, how i get the swr and power meter on my p3 along with a waveform when i'm transmitting well, this is how I'm doing it. This is a, a little gizmo from uh, Elecraft, and basically it's a, it's a transverter. You got to peel open the, uh, the P3 and stick another board inside that enables this thing to hook up to it. But other than that, it is, uh, it, it's simple to do, and it gives you a real clean, uh, clean looking uh, meter on your p3 all right guys that's all i've got this time as always if you like this video please give me the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button and if you think i'm worthy of it please consider uh joining me on patreon and the link is uh somewhere up in here guys that's it for me i'm bob k6 uda I'm out of here. 7 3. Remote system linked. Every, uh, every what, uh, four minutes or so? Garage door. From, say, 40 meters to 20 meters, and son of a bitch! Once you get this thing set up, it is real super sim. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, it's cool. It's totally cool.